was sitting down at 3 a.m. and I thought, you know what would be cool? I want to make a video now. So I thought about my top five recommendations for deep reinforcement learning and reinforcement learning book. And I just decided to go with it. Share the video. Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be talking about my top five recommendations for reinforcement learning resources. So during my master's degree, I did a fair share of reinforcement learning because I thought it was a very interesting topic and I wanted to learn it properly. So naturally I went on and looked for some reinforcement learning resources and I was completely lost because it's not the same thing as, for example, machine learning. It's machine learning. You have a lot of resources out there and you know where to start. You'll be always uh, point you to the, towards the Andrew Angs of the world, you know, things, uh, things like that. But with reinforcement learning, it's a bit confusing of what the roadmap is and what the recommendations should be when you are a beginner or intermediate. So in this video, I'm going to narrow all these options down for you so you can have an idea of where to go. So without any further ado, here is my top five. At number five, we have the reinforcement learning and introduction. Now, this book is one of the most comprehensive books in reinforcement learning. This is an old book. So uh, there, it uses a lot of very graduate level way of uh, writing, but it has everything. Everything is in there. I wouldn't re necessarily recommend that you learn from this book directly. I would recommend that you use it more as a uh, reference rather than an actual read, right? Because uh, on a graduate level, they don't read the entire thing. They usually read some excerpts of it, things that help you understand the concept itself. So maybe like from 3.1 till 3.4, etc., etc. So that's why it's low on the list, despite the fact that it is very comprehensive. So at number four, we have the David Silverman uh, course on YouTube. This is a free course on YouTube. And David Silver is one of the best people in the reinforcement uh, spectrum. He is by far one of the best people to be teaching this. However, the quality of the video here is extremely low. It's very hard to, um, to, to see properly what's going on. And that's why it's rated low on this list. However, on the, on the plus side, his website has a lot of uh, courseworks, a lot of uh, material that you can go along with. So you can follow along with it as if you are there, as if you're attending, as if you're part of that group. But thanks to the quality, it was ranked as number four. Now at number three, um, it's the deep reinforcement learning nanodegree. So I liked the deep reinforcement learning nanodegree. It was pretty good. There was a lot of hands-on experience that was mainly using Python, which is probably the language you, that you should be using if you're learning deep reinforcement learning. And uh, yeah, they even had some experts from NVIDIA and I think from Unity as well that really helped um, understand these uh, complex concepts. And they also use a lot of analogies, which I thought that was uh, very, very cool. So, uh, but the reason why it's ranked as number three on the list is because they spend a great deal of time on the basic stuff and uh, they, they delve into re deep reinforcement learning a bit later. And I didn't think that there was a lot of exercise and hands-on experience with the deep reinforcement learning. So after a certain while, I, I just got disinterested in it and I just... Uh, went on to a different resource. So that's why I ranked it as number three, also because it's not free. This one is a paid one. At number two, Udacity. I swear they're not paying me. But um, yeah, this is a really, really good course, that one. Reinforcement Learning by Georgia Tech. It's very comprehensive. The people are in it, the teaching in it, the teachers are very funny. They're very smart. And they're really... Um, they really drive the point across there. You, you understand what they're saying. However, some of the resources that they use are like the papers that they recommend are very difficult to read. So if you want to use something supplementary, don't use the things that they give to read. Just wait for number one. Okay. 
So, uh, yeah, watch their videos. Their videos are pretty cool. Do their exercises. If you can read their their uh, papers, I generally don't recommend you read those papers. I, I'll give you better ones in the description. And uh, at number one, we have the Grothic, Grocking Deep Reinforcement Learning book by Miguel. So that book was awesome. This book was... It has a lot of drawings, uh, it has a lot of uh, analogies, a, a lot of uh, hands-on, you know, Python code included in the book. It, it was really, really good. And um, it basically teaches you like you're a human being, right? Not some crazy PhD person who, uh, who's been studying this stuff for three, four years. So it's, it's very approachable. It's uh, beginner friendly. And I also think that a lot of the code in it could be used just on normal stuff. But the only problem with it is that you might want to try a lot of these ideas and concepts on actual real world applications. And that doesn't provide you with that. It provides you with code, yes, but not on real world applications as much. So you might want to use read that book but whatever information that you get it you go out there and just apply it on something right away like on a, on a video game or a natural language processing task or or maybe a, a stock a stock program so um yeah that's deeper reinforcement learning for you uh the book grokking now what i recommend is that you read this book and you follow along with this course Reinforcement Learning by Georgia Tech. If you do these two in tandem, you'll be good to go. I think you'll be good to go. I'll also put in the description a few research papers that were very helpful to me when I was reading, uh, when I was learning about reinforcement learning. And don't scare easily, right? Um, I know research papers sounds very scary, but yeah. Also, there is a Medium post that was really, really helpful. It uses a lot of hands-on stuff with python like real world stuff so i'm going to put that in the description as well if you want to use it and that's it these are the top five recommendations